We're back Hello. at the Grindhouse Nights. Yes. Fifth anniversary here at Cafe Z. I'm here with George Firewalker. How are you, George? Hi, Good. How are you? <laughs> Fantastic. You look terrific. Oh, thank you so much. So do you. Thank you. <laughs> so, George, you are working on a film right now, Collision at Split Rock. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, Collision at Split Rock is a modern film noir, and it would fit right in with the Grindhouse. It's a psychological thriller, has a lot of depth and some great acting, some good, a good story, and, uh, and we're excited about it. It should be out in about a uh, month. Yeah. Very cool. Now, so uh, what gave you the inspiration to write this? You're the writer, director, producer. Right. Well, it's it's a it's a pretty deep story because I said I thought you know I did a lot of writing and I made a couple of dramas and I said you know what I really like to touch into the horror genre but I needed something really deep like inspiration so I used to there's a place called Split Rock and there's a falls and it's very gothic and it has a lot of inspiration and it reminds me of a of, of just a mystery and there's like a lot of ghosts there it's a real rugged terrain and so I used to run there a lot with my dog and the, the wheels are always turning in my head and I came up with this horror story and then I just kind of expanded it and we started to shoot it as a uh, a short film and then we found out that the story was just way too big for a short film so he said you know what everybody was on board and we just made it into a feature, just kind of grew into a feature, and uh, we're excited. We have some really great actor, Thomas Gibson. He's been in a movie called By Any Means, and Hada Vanessa, is, she's been in multiple films, and she's a pretty good star, and we have a really good supporting cast, so we're real excited. And well, it sounds like you didn't just touch on the horror genre. You dove right in there. We jumped You're elbow right deep. In. Yes, yes, we, we dove right in, and so... Well, that's fantastic. So this is your first horror film. Have you made other films? Right. Well, this is my first feature, and I made a bunch of shorts. Normally more of a drama. I made a film in the 80s called Joshua. About a 45-minute film. is more like a rebel, and, you know, all my stories have a little bit of, like, emotion to it. So it's... It sounds like you're very story-driven in your what you write. You want it to be focused on the story. Right, it's very story driven and uh, you know, it's independent so we have limited budget and limited resources so we make the best of it. So when you have limited resources and a limited budget, you really got to develop the story. You really got to focus on the acting and the storyline and real personal type of film. Otherwise, we don't have, you know, exploding cars and, you know. So. You don't have that in your budget? Or uh, well, we could just now, blow one up. <laughs> yeah. We just never get it back if we did that. <laughs> and we have to run a lot for the cops, right? Yeah, that might be a little rough. Well, fantastic, Thank you George. Very much. How can we see this uh, film? Will it be in film festivals? Hopefully, yes, it's going to be in film festivals, and uh, in about a month, I'm going to just I'm going to submit it to every film festival under the sun. So maybe one of them will pick it up. but Maybe one day we'll see it here at Grindhouse. Definitely Grindhouse. You got it. Thank you Awesome. Thank you so much, Firewalker. Right. You're out. Peace. <laughs> Thanks.